Hey guys, how's it going? I'm laughing because, of course, there's never a moment that I start shooting a vlog that I don't have some kind of weird circumstance going on that's making me laugh or start over or whatever. But I started shooting this first one, and in the middle of it, I got an I. <laughs> I got an I am uh, uh, telling me I'm supposed to be on a conference call. And the thing is, if you had any idea how often that happens, that I think it's another day and I. So I'm having some strange reactions to my hair today. I added layers into it and I'm not quite sure I'm enjoying the look today. I think it's just, you know, there's never really a time when I'm not shooting a video without issues, is there? Um, but anyway, I, I was thinking that it was earlier in the day and of course it's not, which, you know what? Stuff like what you're seeing right now, the fact that I started shooting a video, thought it was earlier in the day and it's not, um, my schedule and my life, that's kind of what it's been like this year. And what I started telling you in the first video, um, which I'm gonna s attempt to close up now, is that um, you know, I haven't shot videos in a long time. I did not intend to take a break or a vacation from it like that. I also haven't blogged. I just started blogging again this past week, but I haven't blogged since January. And really, you know, again, most of that has to do with big, big, huge decisions and meetings and stuff that we have going on behind the scenes at Fitfluential, all in regards to, you know, what our, our future is going to be like in 2015 and beyond. So the weird thing is, is we all know what's going on. We're doing, you know, all of these meetings and presentations and interviews and, and, talking with with people and planning and reevaluating and getting proposals and requests for proposals and it's back and forth you know with other companies that want to work for us and want to design stuff for us and all of this great crazy stuff but nobody sees all of that and it's just it's like adding two or three additional jobs onto what you're doing all of which of course are not paid <laughs> so there's that but anyway um, this has been a huge, huge year, a huge year of change. Um, I, probably some of the best changes I've made for myself personally, professionally, physically, all of that. Also some not so good stuff, but I don't even really look at anything as not so good anymore because I've learned how to, I guess, just change my attitude and change my reaction to things that happen. So, you know, I'll, I'll update you guys on some of the physical stuff I'm talking about in that I think last time I was shooting videos I still had I hadn't gone to Columbus yet so I still had that you know Achilles or ankle situation that I was dealing with um, I was fortunate enough to be able to meet with Dr. Victor Prisk while I was out at the Arnold and was finally accurately diagnosed I'll do a separate video where I'll try to stay focused and I use the word focused um, in quote marks because Am I ever really focused on one topic? Um, but um, so he he diagnosed me, and I I have a, a treatment program that has has fixed or you know pretty much fixed the situation. I don't want to say the situation is fixed. I I have an ongoing um, issue with my calves, but now that I have. I guess a, a program or something that I do every day. It's a series of stretches. Um, it's removed the need for where we thought this was going, which was we thought I may need surgery on my ankles and whatnot. Um, hold on, see if he's calling me in, because um, I might have to end this and go do this call. I don't think it's, he's still typing. Um, so I will update you guys on that, and then we're rescheduling. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> I the most. I've become one of the most unreliable people, not intentionally, but I, I'm one of those people who's always making excuses for why I'm late, why my meeting ran over, why my call ran over, why my plane is late. Um, I just, I hate it. I used to read interviews with celebrities, not that I'm calling myself a celebrity, but, and I, they would always be like, oh, well, so-and-so showed up four hours late for our interview and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, who does that? Who shows up late? That's so rude. And now. I'm that person that is always, you know, having to reschedule, having to move things. There's just, that's my world. Um, but anyway, so I will update you guys on the, um, sorry, I just have to keep this open in case they need me. Um, I will update you guys on separately 
what's up with the ankle slash leg situation and running. Um, and then I will update you on uh, what my most recent gift from um, the you're not 20 years old anymore gods, which is uh, lower back pain. This is something that just happened, entered into my life about, I'd say five or six weeks ago. Um, I thought it was something like a pulled muscle or um, something similar, but it's obviously, you know, I've joined, I think it's like 82 million Americans, something like that, that has lower back pain. And um, I am just learning a ton. And, and I know it's weird to say I'm excited. I, I'm not enjoying this at all. It's obviously affected everything I'm doing as far as training, as far as cardio. Um, but it was also timely because I think I had started reading this book this book, which I cannot recommend enough to every single person on the planet. Um, whether you're into yoga, whether you have back pain or not, it's just an extraordinary story um, that I think will change your outlook on, I think it's more conceptually speaking, that mind-body connection um, and how, you know, your attitude and your approach and, you know, just calming down and having a different reaction versus, uh, going psycho with stress and anxiety. Um, there's two different approaches that can have two very different effects on your long-term health and wellness. Um, this is a story, look it up on Amazon. I need to really write a review. I wrote a review on goodreads.com if you wanna look me up. Um, but this guy was a, um, a journalist, a very successful journalist that ended up having back pain that grew progressively worse. Um, and I should just do a separate video on this. I never do it. Um, his back pain grew progressively worse. Hopefully I'm paraphrasing this correctly. Um, and then it got really, really bad. Then he ended up going to see a doctor or a surgeon and they're like, you know, here's what your, your I think your herniated disc, or again, I, I could be saying it incorrectly, but um, hold on, let me see if this is in the back. He ended up having a broken back and failed surgery. I didn't remember that part. I thought he chose not to get surgery. You know what? In the beginning, he chose not to get surgery, and then what he started to do was kind of numb the pain that he had with over-the-counter drugs and alcohol, and then it became prescription drugs, and then he had an addiction. I believe he did go in for surgery. The surgery failed. It left him in a back brace and with a cane. I mean, he could barely walk. Um, and then he's, you know, addicted to painkillers, and then in the midst of all of that, he's diagnosed with throat cancer. Um, I believe it was terminal, stage four throat cancer. Um, so, you know, he's got, he's basically like at the, at the very end of all hope and it was his son, he had a two-year-old son at the time that was like, you know, basically kind of just in a very simplistic child way saying, daddy, you know, get up and, and, and it, that was, you know, for everybody, a moment of clarity can come with somebody saying something to you, it can come with you watching a movie you've watched 50 million times before, you know, if you consider it, um, you know, the universe speaking to you, if you consider it God's opening your eyes, however you look at it, those moments can happen for anybody in any different ways. Um, I know there have been certain things that I have learned and I've, I've heard other people tell me or I've read the information, but it just didn't sink in, it didn't hit me until later. So he had that moment and he's like, I've got to turn this around. I can't, I can't, you know, end up giving, you know, diving in and letting myself die. I've got a son. And so he first went to rehab. I think his family gave him an intervention. Um, he went to rehab. He started getting off of the painkillers, but then he was in obviously some intense pain. And they ended up down the road saying, you're eligible for this pain management program at this pain center, which introduced him to a more holistic approach um, and a lot of yoga. And the, the thing is about this book is it tells the story of how this guy, who's the most skeptical, you know, what, looking at a yoga pose, going, what, you know, no way, being completely skeptical, but yet also being at that point where he's willing to try anything and knowing that he needs to. And so he starts working with a yoga teacher. And the thing that I like about this book, I mean, it's this man's story, but I think many people might look and go, they're expecting a story like this to be this overnight success where this guy turned to yoga and immediately within a month, you know, was walking and, and was a vegan and just everything was great. This is, you, you can see that this is somebody who didn't 
intend, he didn't say, I'm going to become a yogi, I'm going to become vegan, I'm going to change my life and start authoring books. It was just a very natural progression um, where you know, this ended up being good and then he built on that and, and then he built on that even more and this ended up being better. Um, and then he kept wanting to do more and more and more and add to that. Um, so it's very, I guess the word I'm looking for is very, it's very realistic the way that his story and his progression uh, unfolds, if you will. Um, so he ends up, you know, and I remember, I really should, I'm already at 10 minutes. I should do a separate um, video review on just this, but there was this one point, and this was when my back was starting to, I guess, make it clear to me that this back pain was not going anywhere. And I remember I was telling my man friend about this, about this last chapter I read. He had come home from a yoga session and he was staying at his hotel and he had this piercing moment in his lower back. And he said in the book that he's like, when I had this moment where it felt like an icicle or an ice pick was in my back, he said in the past, in my former life, those would be moments where I would take an obscene amount of painkillers and I would literally be in pain for three days, on you know, unable to move and just in a, just a drug and dose coma. And he said, that's what I knew was coming. We've all been there, right? Maybe you, it's when you get allergies and you're like, I know how this is gonna be. Ladies, when it's that time of the month, you're like, get out the chocolate. You know what's coming the next three days. So with him, he knew what was coming. And in, he had this moment, instead of saying, I'm gonna go take all of the allowed over-the-counter drugs that I'm, I'm allowed to take now on my program. And he's like, no, I am going to learn to breathe through this and, and deal with it He goes, I've got to learn how to deal with my pain and so he tells the story of how he kind of laid down on the floor I believe and he was breathing through it and he didn't say oh it was so simple I just breathed through it and it was fine no he's like it was three hours and it was intense and it was hard but I kept reminding myself I kept visualizing my son and he said instead three hours without taking any pain pills I got up and I was okay it wasn't easy but I got through it and he said that's versus three days of being completely wiped out on drugs and alcohol to get through that pain. And he said, all of a sudden I realized I could do this. So the whole rest of the book is this, you know, watching this man unfold this, this journey and his life changing bit by bit. Then he slowly starts to make, you know, certain changes in his diet. He finds that he's not as hungry, he's eating less. And then he finds he doesn't want to have as much meat. But it doesn't, it's not, it's not anything like, oh, I met a guru and I went to a mountain and I changed my whole life. It's a very, natural transition but it's also my god it is so inspiring look this guy up um he has a great website out now he teaches classes um it's a very real story i was blown away by it and it certainly inspired me because heck i have this whole ridiculously intense lower back pain now that is interrupting everything about my life right now i had to go buy a new office chair i'll get into all those details later but you know it's also encouraged me to really look into this. We're going to be doing a series on back pain um, at Fit Fluential. I have wanted to do that anyway because I know so many people personally that have lower back pain. It's one of the most common ailments that um, pretty much people of all ages all over this country have. And now I'm experiencing it too, but I am learning so much. I'm going to see a chiropractor on Thursday. Um, I'm gonna have Corey, uh, look at me tomorrow. Corey's the, uh, my yoga guy here that fixed my shoulder a couple years ago when uh, physical therapy was doing nothing for me for three months. He saw me and did two like intense, like I don't even know what you'd call it, like beating my neck up. Um, but he could see that the, really the pain was coming in my shoulder from my neck. It wasn't coming from an actual like rotator cuff or anything that they were trying to treat. And again, people, I went to physical therapy for three months, three months, and it wasn't making any difference other than the fact that I was out 200 bucks a month for physical therapy fees. So um, a lot to be said for investigating different options and to see how you can, you know, change your attitude and... Um, instead of just going and, and popping pills. Um, that's also gonna refer to, I need to shut up. Where's my, um, I was looking for this. Um, part three of what I'm gonna share with you, some of the progress I've made this year is, um, and I'll detail this definitely separately. Um, once I met Whitney Jones, um, at Europa, I think I met her, um, but she and I started talking about, um, 
training and some of the stuff I wanted to do, you know, in the gym and the goals I had. This was well before my back issues um, joined my life. But, you know, she was looking at some of the medication I was on and I was talking to her about the hormonal imbalance issues. And she works with um, a specialist out in Phoenix. And um, so I have had blood work done, 20 vials of blood taken. Um, and I'm going to be discussing those results with them um, probably later this week or early next week and then beginning a treatment program to naturally um, balance, sorry, really gets my nerves, naturally um, balance whatever it is that's out of balance. I'm really looking forward to seeing, you know, what my results are and what, you know, it, it measured everything. And I will share all of that with you guys but to see what he prescribes for a treatment program to not only get me off the pill, he told me that's bad for everything that I'm doing, and get me off this spironolactone that they've had me on for several years, which I had no idea was also a steroid. So here I am wondering like why I'm having issues losing this last bit of weight I want to lose around my middle. And you know, once he was talking to me, he's like, there's reason number one. And I kept blaming myself, like, it must be that extra quest bar I ate. That could be it too. <laughs> but anyway, um, Obviously, I have a lot to talk to you guys about. Obviously, I'm back as I usually am, creating. Um, um, creating 17 minute videos. So, I also think my face looks really bad today. <laughs> Oh, because it's that time of the month, that's why. And I'll also tell you guys more, I'm wearing those, um, it's not wearing them, it's that um, unique uh, mascara. You see it? I, I'll have to tell you guys what I think about it. Um, it's nice on one hand, on the other hand, there's just certain changes I'm making in my skincare and my makeup. Um, so I'm kind of testing it out, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up at 17 minutes. You guys, I will be shooting a ton more videos today and also tune in for a lot of our videos on Verizon. You'll see that over on the Fit Fleshel YouTube channel. If you're not tuned in over there, shame on you. You can't know me and not be subscribed over there too. So I will see you guys later and, um, talk to you soon.